Hey everybody, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sires, back here for the Music Factory Studios. I got a new toy in because I had one of my old toys break. So I was using Persona's Quantum 4848s with my console, and I had one of them die. So I needed a replacement quick because it's going to take a while for them to repair my 4848. And there weren't, there were not any new 4848s in stock. So I searched around the internet and I found these. So I bought a pair of these. These are Cymatic Audio. You track 24s, okay? They're a 24 input, 24 output audio interface. It also is a 24 track multi track recorder. So you could record into your DAW and also, you know, record into this thing. And if you were to have a glitch or something in one of the tracks, you could just pull it off this and put it in your DAW and everything would be great. It's kind of like having a redundant recording setup. So the knobs feel great, it's built really, really well. And for the price, you can't beat it. A Quantum 4848 is the cheapest 24 or more input audio interface you can buy. Okay, and it's $1499. This, the U-Track 24, is $549. On the back, it's got 24 inputs and 24 outputs on D-Sub. It's got two main outputs, word clock. It also has um, an Ethernet adapter on it and MIDI out and that way you can and it's a USB audio interface but you can take any piece of cat5 cable and hook two of these together and your computer will see it as one single audio interface for 48 inputs and 48 outputs you basically need cables that look like this on one end so see how it has two circles on it that means it's a balanced TRS okay tip ring and sleeve and on the other side you need a db25 and it's really really simple remember to tighten down your db25 cables really tightly and let's look behind the desk and see how to hook this up not sure how well this is going to focus for me because i only have so much room behind this desk but as you can see it has insert send and return direct which is a direct out of the channel and then line input and then the mic pre so what you would do for mixing is you would come into the line input on every one of these okay and if you wanted to direct mix you come out of that same channel now if you're going to sum you'd want to come out of the master section and you can be flexible just by pulling these out and put them in a different spot and it's not all that hard once you have it set up you just plug in your mic right here and you'll automatically record the input if you come out of the direct output and if you're mixing you want the line input and if anybody else has any more questions about this, just let me know, and uh, I'll do a whole dedicated video on how to set up a console. I think there still is a good reason to have a console with, you know, inserts and EQ on them still today, especially if you incorporate a lot of analog gear into your mixing, because it can be the central hub for all of that gear instead of having to hook it through an audio interface. Now, this... U-Track 24 has a built-in mixer, and we're going to look at that here in just a second. And it works on the new Apple Silicon Macs. I had no issue with it on my M1 Macs, MacBook Pro, or my M1 Mac Mini. No issues whatsoever. Now, here is the desktop app for the U-Track 24. It's really simple. It's basically, if you don't have a console to use with it, you're just going to use like uh, 500 series stuff or the... Uh, um, you know, the, you know, rack gear, you can use this in the place of a console and it's really handy. It also has really good metering on it, which is kind of nice to have. I have to say, I'm surprised that I haven't seen more people using these. I think they were marketed toward like playback for live shows and not really as audio interfaces, because if you search like Sweetwater for audio interfaces, this doesn't really show up. But if you look for multi-track recorders, you'll find it. There's also another company called Joco out there that makes uh, a couple different boxes, one called the black box, one called the blue box. And they do basically the same thing, except they're about five times more money. Now here's the iPad app. It's basically the same app. It's just set up for the iPad and you can, it'll work with iOS as well. So if you are an iPad musician, and you want to incorporate a bunch of like synthesizers or something into iOS or iPad OS, you can do that with the U-Track 24. Now, there's no mic pre's on here, so 
you won't be able to plug a microphone into it and turn it up. It just won't work because it's all line level. So if you've got a mixer that has, you know, direct outs on every channel, or you just want to mix on a console that has line inputs, you can use this for that. If you already have a bunch of mic pre's, like 500 series mic pre's, or, you know, just a plethora of mic pre's that are in, you know, those eight channel boxes, you can use that. They also have extra modules, like a MADI module that you can put in here, an ADAP module, and they have uh, one for Audio LAN, which is kind of like Dante, but it's more AES. And you would put them in that little spot right there in the circle. And you can put two of these together and have 48 inputs and 48 outputs for 1100 bucks. That's not bad. If you add the total cost of two of these and the cables, okay, it costs you about 100 bucks, 100, 120 bucks to completely cable out one of these and that's going on the cheap end you can have 24 inputs and 24 outputs for 650 bucks you could have you know 48 channels on an audio interface for oh i don't know what 1250 1300 bucks which isn't bad it requires no driver mac os saw it immediately now windows i don't know i know they have a driver for windows and, but I, I don't use Windows, so I couldn't tell you. Um, it works with Mac OS. It works with the new Apple Silicon perfectly fine. If you get one and you have, make sure you have sample rate match. So if you're working at like, say, 48 and you open a 44 one session, turn off the U Track 24 and turn it back on and it will sync back up. You can get a word clock. I use an ART Sync Gen word clock and it only costed me about $129 to sync all of my audio interfaces up and it just it works better that way when you use multiples i think but i can't complain about this audio interface for the money it's the best in its class and if you've got a console lying around or if you've discovered that consoles are actually super cheap now i mean this desk that i have the soundcraft mh2 i paid over a hundred thousand dollars for and you can buy one on Reverb right now in mint condition, probably better condition than mine has been, for about two grand. So <laughs> that's crazy when you think about it. Um, it's nice to have a console. I mean, I've got 48 channels. I've got VCA faders. I've got a four-band fully sweepable EQ. So I have four bands of sweepable EQ on here. Um, I've got monitor mixes for tracking. I've got, uh, you know, just 100 millimeter faders. And it's a really nice desk to have. And having something like this lets me utilize that desk and my outboard hardware to its fullest extent. And I think it's a great product. It does more than most uh, high input, high output audio interfaces by giving you the redundant recording. So I, I can't say enough good things about it. It seems to be a really good piece of gear the only thing i don't like is these, is these big sesame street buttons on the front of it but i guess if you were using it as a live playback and live recorder and in a dark club they would be really handy but i mean that's just me being nitpicky i think it's a, a great piece of gear and if you've got a desk or a lot of analog equipment or a lot of mic pre's that you just want to use this is really really a good product for you to check out cymatic didn't give me this i bought this with out of my own money and I think it's a great product. All right, guys and gals, we'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all. And since you're already here on YouTube, check out one of these videos on your screen now. All right, we'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all.